My name is Sasha Stoltz and I am the publicist for the Real World Film Festival. Before we start the actual press conference, I want to mention that we have our filmmakers and our programmers available for interviews following the press conference. So you can speak to myself or our PR interns, Yomi John and Samantha Savoy, uh, immediately following the press conference. And we look forward to arranging interviews with them. So I'd like to start by introducing the chair of our Real World Film Festival, Mo Juan. <clears throat> Good morning. Sasha, I wanted to make a deal with everyone that we don't talk about the weather today. But Sasha already broke the rule. <laughs> so, anyways, hello everyone and, uh, and good morning. And thank you for being here today on a beautiful Canadian winter morning uh, to support Real World. It's our 14th year. And unless you've been buried under a mountain of snow and, and haven't heard, uh, we're actually growing. We're adding three more days of programming in Markham. Big feat for us. So it's, it's a significant step for, tr for real world and I'm proud uh, of our team uh, for making this happen. You know, our festival is big, there's some like 80 films or 81 films that we show, um, but we have a very small core team that makes it all happen. And, and I equate them to like the Navy SEALs of film festivals. Uh, generally we'll come to them and say, you know what, we need this. And they don't really say much, but it just kind of happens. They just kind of execute and make it happen. So, so it's wonderful. So I want to thank them for all their, their hard work. Of course, it, it means that we also continue to support artists from Aboriginal, Asian, Black, Latino, Middle Eastern, and South Asian communities here, uh, right here in Toronto. Um, but it only made sense for us to establish a footprint in uh, Canada's most diverse uh, city, Markham. It says pause for applause. So, <laughs> God, that was funny. <laughs> our ability to showcase films and cultivate talent is directly connect to the uh, connected sorry, to the work of our small, hardworking team that I talked about, um, and, and our volunteers, and our partners, and of course, all my colleagues uh, on the board of directors. Our board is, is, is again, is a small crack team. Uh, they're a roll up your sleeves kind of group. Uh, they're very involved. And they are a working board. Um, I still remember the day uh, we all met at my house. I think it was on a Sunday. Um, so they give up you know, personal family time to, to support this organization. So, so I want to thank them by mentioning their names. I know a lot of them are, are not here today because they have real jobs as well that they need to go to to, to pay their bills. Um, and then three of us kind of skipped out. Um, and called in sick. And then I just realized I, f I checked in on Facebook so they actually know where I am. So we have, some of you know, uh, Andrea Case, uh, anchor and reporter with City TV News, uh, filmmaker Vikram das Dasgupta, who made our, our trailer last year, uh, Joan Jenkinson from Z Zoom Media, Michael Kennedy from Cineplex Entertainment, whose house we're in today, uh, Lalita Krishna, producer, director, writer, who's been with Real World for, for many years, Sharon Lewis from Urban Soul, uh, Urban, Urban Soul sorry, uh, Claudette Omrin from M3 uh, E Entertainment Television, Jennifer Podemski, producer, write, actor, writer, Roman Podzian, you have to uh, forgive me if I don't pronounce names right, um, CEO of Channel Zero, Naveen Prasad from Hollywood's, Hollywood Suites, uh, Hollywood Suite, sorry, uh, Lynn Stolt, who's here, hi Lynn, a fantastic author, writer, producer, John. And thank God for phonetics. Vava Rutsos from Wired Messenger, they handle all our uh, electronic media, um, website, all the emails that you get, etc. And of course, my new good friend, Adam Waxman, an actor and associate publisher of Dine Magazine. Um, thank you to my board members for, for all your work. Forgot to mention someone who's been my partner in crime on this board, Eb, Eb Reinbergs, who unfortunately is, is not here today. We also have some fantastic uh, government and corporate partners who make this possible, and they help us schedule uh, an incredible amount of, uh, of, of program uh, this year for 2014, and, and somebody will go into the, the, the details of the programming, but we have 81 films and videos, and 70% of that is Canadian, and so if you do the math, that's 56 uh, films and videos that are Canadian content. That's fantastic. Um, we don't have anybody here from TD, so I'll just keep going. Yeah. 
I said go get somebody from the branch next door. <laughs> I want to thank NBC Universal, who once again brings us the real speak uh, to the festival. This year, Oscar Torre will be the spotlight of our Canadian in uh, candid interview, sorry, uh, followed by a uh, screening of his film, Pretty Rosebud. Telefilm Canada uh, shows, whoops, again shows its support for, for raci racially diverse filmmakers by partnering with us. I'd like to invite uh, Stephanie Azam. I saw her. Where, oh, there you are. Telefilm Canada's national feature executive to say a few words. Thank you. Good morning. At Telefilm, we have always used the approach of uh, partnerships, um, working with partners to build successful programs and initiatives. It's something we've done probably since you know, we started. Um, partnerships and collaboration have obvious advantages, but in our case, it goes far beyond that. Um, we have so many different kinds of objectives that if it wasn't for working with partners, we probably wouldn't meet very many of them. Real World is an amazing example of, you know, a partner that um, working together helps us meet our objectives. Um, uh, Real World is, a, is Canada's premier film festival focusing on racial, racial diversity and in addition to screening more than 60 films and videos each year, this Can't Miss event showcases a significant amount of Canadian content. I think that 60 is wrong, sorry, um, because you said 70% was 54, so I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the numbers, don't quote me on the numbers, um, but uh, it's a lot. Uh, <laughs> this year, 70% of real world programming will be homegrown stories, um, Canadian stories, and that's amazing. It doesn't say wait for applause, but you know, you can <laughs> applaud. <so. laughs> real world also excels at, excels at professional development, um, the industry series have helped emerging artists create and strengthen a foothold within the filmmaking community. Um, each year, Telefilm has a starring role in Real World's industry panel. I think Dan Lyon, who's the um, regional feature film executive for Ontario and Nunavut, um, you know, I think he's, he's a regular uh, at the panels, and um, uh, I know that his, uh, you know, he'll be here again this year, and, and um, um, I've, I've heard that um, time needs to be added when Dan comes and speaks because people are, get, they get a lot out of um, uh, hearing him speak and getting him his, his advice. So um, it's something he can be proud of. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so congratulations to Tanya and the real world team. 14 years of hard work is still paying off. And congratulations to the selected films and all the talent um, behind the scenes that went into making these movies. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, we also welcome back the Writers Guild of Canada and the Directors Guild of Canada, both of which um, are presenting panels this year. We announced our industry series a few short weeks ago, and there's a bit of a quiz here. Where do you find out about the programming? You get a free pass if you get it right. Realworld.ca. Was that a real world person? No? Okay, so then just see me and I'll get you a pass. Um, so, <laughs> gotta start. <laughs> Sell about giveaways. <laughs> so yes, you can find details on realworld.ca. I invite you to visit it today. We'll, we'll be posting all our programming. Buy your tickets, uh, buy your passes, etc. cetera. Uh, other ways we touch artists' uh, careers includes our, our networking brunches, uh, networking brunch, Real Prep with NFB, producer uh, Leah Marin, and our face-to-face -face, uh, mentorship sessions. I noticed some of our face-to-face -face alumni here today, so welcome. Um, we're introducing film to the next generation this year. Uh, Real Youth in Toronto welcome more than 150 children into our theaters to explore movie making. Uh, this is supported by Global Toronto. The multimedia, f the multimedia Film Festival of York Region is partnering with us uh, to bring Real Youth to Markham. Huge accomplishment. All these professional de development activities occur while we're connecting filmmakers to, uh, with audiences. And because we believe that everybody has a right to see a film, we keep our prices really low. Does anybody know what our prices are? No? $17. Sorry? $17. You're just throwing it out there? Are you close? $100. <laughs> That's what I'd like it to be. <laughs> 
So uh, our op for fifteen dollars is for our opening and closing nights. Ten dollars is for regular screening, and that includes your, your the HST and all that stuff. Uh, we also offer a full access pass. So basically, here's what I say: you don't want to be dealing with tickets. You want that VIP status. You want to look like the player. Fifty-five dollars, right? Gets you a full access pass. I encourage everybody to to get one of those, uh, and and we welcome you to our executive pass club member. Uh, I think it offers front of the line, which basically means if you see me, just scream, and I get you in the front of the line. But you have to buy before April 1st on our website. And uh, by the way, the festival pass works for everything that's happening in Toronto and in Markham. So this year we have something really interesting uh, because we have two MOs in our organization. Um, I'm known as downtown MO, I guess. Real world MO, <laughs> Real world MO. okay. <laughs> And, and we have a good friend of mine now. Uh, I'd like to invite Mo Hosseini Ara, the Director of Culture for the City of Markham, to the podium to say a few words. Oh, there you are. Thank you. And uh, you can never have too many Mo's in a room, so <laughs> we'll see if we can get a third as well. Um, it is an absolute pleasure to be here this morning. Um, I'm representing the um, City of Markham and our Mayor, Frank Scarpetti, who unfortunately couldn't make it today out of family emergency. Um, he sends his regrets, but he also sends his well wishes. Um, and I know uh, it's, it's unfortunate that he couldn't be here because he's very excited. He's the reason, um, along with uh, Jen Humphreys, who um, we, the reason why we actually have uh, the Real World Film Festival coming to Markham. Um, and being one of the uh, most diverse, I know Toronto has the title of the most diverse, but we, uh, we also have the, the title of the most diverse city um, in uh, Canada. Uh, we represent about 65% uh, diversity of the 330,000 and growing population. And uh, we've got a lot of very excited folks to uh, see this uh, happening, this event happening in Markham. Um, we uh, managed to partner um, the Multimedia Film Festival of York Region uh, with Real World, so they're working together. And we also got a steering committee uh, made up of, uh, uh, again, a very diverse group of uh, business uh, um, people in Markham who are, again, excited to have a Real World. So we're really looking forward to uh, happening, or, or helping out with the expansion um, of Real World into Markham. And uh, we're hoping that uh, it'll be the start of something fantastic and we'll be able to do this every single year, going for another 14 and, uh, and many, many more years to come. So on behalf of Markham, we welcome you. We hope uh, that uh, we're going to be a great addition to something that's already fantastic and we look forward to the event happening in uh, April. Thank you. Thanks, Mo. Uh, Markham Mo, sorry. It's like thanking myself. It's, it's almost weird. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is it. <laughs> We're ready to unveil our films. We're going to play a short trailer, and then uh, our founder and executive director, actress Tanya Lee Williams, uh, sorry, Tanya Williams, and Aileen, our programming uh, coordinator, will share details uh, about our programming. So thank you, everybody, once again. It does that's a great, that's a huge amount of films, and um, we really hope you come out and you support all these filmmakers because that's what makes it all worthwhile for them and for us also at Real World. You know, when I started the festival 14 years ago, I know it's hard to believe, but I started it as a, to be a silent partner. <laughs> I started it as someone who would probably just turn up when the festival was happening. And um, circumstances made me realize, and, and remember this when you're starting a business, it doesn't work that way. You actually have to be there and, uh, and do a lot of the stuff. So after 14 years, what's great is I feel this is the... The, the last couple of years, I've really felt that the festival is reaching a stage where I can maybe go into my little semi-retirement about the festival. And I want you all to continue to really support and be here for this festival. Because as I said to my staff, I'm sure if Robert Redford and Robert De Niro don't turn up for their film festival, it still happens. <laughs> and they're bigger stars than me, for sure. So as you can see, um, We've mentioned a few times that the Canadian content is over 70% <laughs> this year. Um, but we have also films from Australia, China, Ethiopia, Finland, France, Grenada, Guadeloupe, India, Iraq, Jamaica, New Zealand, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, the Philippines, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey, the United Kingdom, and the USA. So we, we have a little bit for everyone. We have 25 features that are going to be screened in Toronto and Markham this year, and over 37 shorts, eight webisodes, which is the new up-and-coming um, platform, and nine music videos. So uh, 
we, we definitely want to see you. Um, before I bring Eileen up, who was uh, in charge of programming this year, she'll talk a bit about the schedule and the other programmers that worked on the festival. Um, I would like to invite um, one of the couple of the Canadian filmmakers that are in the audience, Jeremy Whitaker and Andrew Chung, if you could both come up here. Um, Jeremy has the opening night film, so I just want you to tell us a little bit about your film. Sell it, man. It's 100 bucks a ticket. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for having me here, everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, to Real World Film Festival, to the Board of Directors, and to Tanya. It's very laudable what you guys have been doing for the past 14 years, and congratulations. Wish you many more years of success. Uh, my film here, uh, it, it's... it's it's, it's, it's called Destiny. It's a Jamaican feature film, Jamaican-Canadian feature film. Uh, it's, it's been a long, uh, it's, it's been a lot of hard work, so it's almost like a dream to be here right now. Um, it, it's, it's, it's about a girl named Lisa. She, uh, she's actually Canadian. Her parents are Jamaican, uh, of Jamaican heritage. Unfortunately, they passed away in a car accident um, two years prior to where the movie starts. And uh, she, their, their parents, like anybody else, would love to have they have a, a retirement beachfront estate in Jamaica that um, they had. Um, and the, the, the hotel beside it wants to buy the, the, uh, the beachfront estate. So she gets a letter from, from the lawyer in Jamaica, and she gets, takes the opportunity to go to Jamaica. And once there, she reconnects with her family. Uh, she meets a, a reggae artist that she sort of falls in love with, and um, certain, certain things develop. She actually finds out that her dad had a child in Jamaica that she didn't know about. And now, you know, there's a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, drama that ensues from there. <laughs> um, so, and then there's a lot of things. I encourage you to watch the movie. Uh, it's the opening night film. Um, it's really an honor to have the opening night film. And just watching what the other films that were there, I'm going to watch a lot of them. <laughs> you know, so I encourage you to watch not only my film, but everybody else's film that's there t um, at the Real Royal Film Festival this year. Hi, um, my name is Andrew. I'm the director of Millions. Uh, this is Melanie, my exec uh, producer. Um, so our project is a feature film. Uh, it features an entirely Asian Canadian cast. Um, it's basically about a group of friends uh, in their 20s that set out to become millionaires before they turn 30. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I, I think it's, uh, it, it's a project that I've been working on for the past three years. It's a completely self-financed, uh, completely independent project. We raised some money on Kickstarter. Um, yeah, I think it, it, I think it gives uh, a good contemporary look at, at life growing up as an Asian in, in North America, um, um, especially for the younger generation, I think. So um, yeah, we're just excited to be here, and we hope you can check out the film as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're really excited to be part of Real World, and especially being Toronto homegrown um, filmmakers, we're really excited to have our premiere in our home and be embraced by our home, and especially with Real World, who celebrates diversity, so that really means a lot to us. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And that's really what Real World is about. It's about, you know, new emerging talent, and especially Canadian talent, and we're happy to have this platform um, to show your film, so thank you so much for that. Now, if is Eileen in charge of programming in the room? <laughs> Take your time, Eileen. No, we'll just wait. <laughs> um, it's been wonderful working with Eileen, and um, I'm going to give the um, over to her right now. But before that, I do want to say. Um, Thank you not only to the board of directors, but the staff, and I'll just mention them because they're a wonderful um, group of people. Kyle Burton, um, who does all of our, our uh, the newsletters that a lot of you have been uh, getting and uh, a lot of the social media that you get. Vincent Wu, who handles and oversees our sponsorship. Um, Yash Brar, who is just uh, Girl Friday, and <laughs> she's, she does our real youth program and also a lot of the logistics of the festival, festival coordinator. Um, Stacy Agard, who they work as a team together, and Stacy's been dealing with a lot of the ticketing and a lot of the IT and a lot of uh, things that go on, the logistics also of the festival. Um, Sasha Stoltz, who you saw earlier, who does all the publicity and all our special events um, that you'll be coming to during the festival, which is fantastic. Um, Jen Humphreys, 
who is director of our communications. So pretty much everything we say, Jen writes. So pretty much everything you read, Jen writes. <laughs> so it's great. Um, Rodrigo Diaz Varela, who handles all our finance, our finance manager. So I feel for him. And um, our designers, who are Lisa and Leslie Jones, I'm not sure if they're here, but they created the amazing, oh, they are here, wave. They were there, <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> um, who created the artwork that is there for this year, and I just love it. It's so beautiful that this bird that is representative of film takes flight, and it's all these different colors which represent all the different diversity, and uh, I, it's very creative, and I love it. So thank you so much for that, and Eileen, um, over to you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm really happy to see so many filmmakers joining us today. I'm really excited about sharing your films with our audiences. As uh, you've heard, Jeremy's uh, film Destiny is the opening film in Toronto. I don't think he's mentioned, but uh, the two films actually star singers, Kirian Sang and Christopher Martin, who are well-known Jamaican um, singers. And the film actually has a really amazing soundtrack, I might add. <laughs> So just to give you a little bit more, you saw the trailer, which is really amazing. I just want to give you some more information about those films. So for our closing night in Toronto, it features uh, Horizon Beautiful by Stefan Jager. It is about a soccer magnet who becomes entangled in a fake kidnapping in Addis Ababa, sorry, Addis Ababa, and is liberated by a 12-year-old street kid who is desperate to play the game. This film is uh, a Switzerland and Ethiopian co-production. It's created with the Blue Nile Film and Television Academy, which is actually the only film school in Ethiopia. So we're really excited about showcasing that film. And as Mo mentioned, actor Oscar Torre is our very special guest at Real Speak this year. He is a multiple award winner, has guest starred on Dollhouse, NCIS, Cold Case, The Mentalist, and had roles in HBO's Larceny, Counterpunch, and Hunting of Man. He also played a supporting role in the 2013 blockbuster film, The Hangover Part Three. Um, you may know him as of uh, Officer uh, Vasquez. And during our uh, one hour candid conversation with Oscar Torre, we will find out how he has carved his acting career, what professional and life decisions he's had to make along the way. Uh, we will also, also find out what prompted him to move behind the camera to direct his first feature film, Pretty Rosebud. Uh, the film has already resulted in a Best Director Award for Oscar, and we are excited to be screening Pretty Rosebud immediately following the Real Speak uh, spotlight. Um, our Canadian Music Video Night in Toronto and Markham brings nine Canadian music videos to the festival, uh, film festival screens, and we are very excited about our shorts program, which puts a spotlight on an incredible amount of Canadian talent, both behind the cameras and on screens. Uh, we have a special showcase that explores the theme of identity, another that focuses on artistic innovation, and the third is a Canadian showcase. We're really excited once again that the Actra YEA shorts are back this year. This is a special presentation of films that were directed by actors who play younger characters on film and TV, behind the camera or seen on screen. The shorts featured the work of many talented Canadian actors and all are members of Actra Toronto and YEAA. We even have a special screening of webisodes, and our family screenings offer free films to children 12 and under when accompanied by an adult. In Toronto, we're showing the short Monsters Playground by Stephen Roscoe in front of the feature Music for Mandela by Canadian filmmaker Jason Bork. This film won the Audience Award at the Amnesty International Festival in Vancouver in 2013, and explores the role music played in the extraordinary life of one of the world's most important icons. Music Man for Mandela is also a family screening in Markham. Another family screening is Beckus, the story of two children in war-torn Iraq who dream of a different life after discovering Superman. The film's director, Kazan Kadar, won a silver medal in the foreign film category at the 38th Student Academy Awards. Screening Before Beckus is a World Out There, an award-winning short from the Multimedia Film Festival of York Region. Opening Night in Markham features The Rocket, an Australian film by Kim Mordaunt about a young boy who everyone believes is cursed with bad luck. To prove himself and save his family, he builds a giant rocket, daring to hope his rocket will win the most dangerous competition of the year. The rocket was selected at AFI and Tribeca and was Australia's official selection for the Oscars. 
Closing Night in Markham is Filmistan, a South Asian film and directorial feature debut by Natin Kakar. It features a wannabe actor who is mistaken for an American crew member and held hostage in the home of a man who deals in pirated Hindi films. Filmistan is a story of new cultural understanding forged through film. These are just a few of our special presentations. Our features include Amin Amir, Will Beauchamp's documentary about a political cartoonist, Celluloid depicts the turbulent life of Dr. J.C. Daniel, the pioneer of Malayalam cinema. It is directed and written by Kamal. Shushrat Jain's Beyond All Boundaries focuses on three people's obsession with cricket during the 2011 World Cup of Cricket, hosted in India. We also have author, author Alvin Yapen's uh, The Boy Sion, which brings viewers into a world where a man seeks to battle a curse in order to bring the woman he loves home with him. Forever, sorry, Forward Ever, The Killing of a Revolution, delves into the assassination of NATO's Prime Minister, Morris Bishop. It is directed and written by Bruce Paddington and Luke Paddington. Hollywood Chaos is a fun drama directed by Abel Bang about a young reporter who must decide between pursuing her career or destroying her friendships. Hugh, A Matter of Color, by renowned director and cinematographer Vic Saren, is a personal, heartfelt investigation into the history and often tragic effects of colorism. Lakshmi is the true story of a beautiful 14-year-old girl whose life takes a tragic turn. She is snatched from her family in the village and sold to a brothel in the city. Against all odds, she stands up in court and in a historic landmark case succeeds in putting the traffickers behind bars. It is directed by Nagesh Kunar and stars Satish Kushke and Shafali Shah, who is known for her roles in Moonsan Wedding, Gandhi, and My Father. Mama Rainbow is a documentary that features six mothers from all over China who are giving a whole new definition to Chinese-style family bonds. And it is directed by uh, Fan Popo. Mariam is the story of a teenage bride who living in a small town with her in-laws, forced to reevaluate her life and recognize her dependence on her absent husband. When a past admirer returns, Miriam is forced to make a choice. And this is directed by Atali Tastinki. Moose River Crossing is Dr. Shirley Chichu's film about residential schools. It's nice to have a Chichu film back at Real World. Another one of Shirley's features opened our very first film festival. Rock, Paper, Scissors, starring Raw Dupuy, sorry, Raw Dupuy, is the story of three men who are all looking for the way out. It is directed by Yan Lanlut Turgeon. Sleeping with the Fishes is the directorial debut of Nicole Gomez Fisher. It is a comedy starring Gina Rodriguez from Philly Brown and Anna Ortez from Ugly Betty. The Red House shows us what can happen when an aging couple uproots themselves from their home to travel to New Zealand to China to take care of an aging parent. It is directed by Alex Duncan. Racial politics and armed robbery collide in The Suspect, a tense psychological suspense where nothing is quite what it seems. It is directed by Stuart Connolly and starring Mackay Pfeiffer. Pascal Atuma's The Trace shows us the consequences when business mixes with pleasure and what can happen when a young gang member falls in love with the daughter of a rich man. Now this eight-day film showcase brings drama, suspense, comedy, shorts, music video, and webisodes to our audiences. It is the result of hundreds of hours of work and careful deliberation by our full programming team. And um, I truly enjoyed working with uh, my 2014 programming colleagues, and I would like to actually recognize them for their efforts. Uh, we have Bobby Del Rio, who focuses on Canadian features, if you'd like to stand up, Bobby. Uh, the international program team features Anya McKenzie, Rosanna Shamshuden, and Carter Bruce. Our shorts programmer is Leanne Smith, and our music video programmer is Sabrina Spence. Unfortunately, they're not here today because, again, as Mo says, they actually have jobs and we don't, apparently. <laughs> All right. And that is the features lineup that I have introduced. Um, I would like to have Sasha come up now.
Thank you, Eileen. So once again, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. We appreciate your support. Um, we'd also like to thank Travis, who did the commercial for our film festival that you'll see online at various media outlets and actually on our website. So make sure you go to realworld.ca to check it out. And we also would like to thank Denroy, who did our amazing trailer that you just saw. And we, um, again, encourage the media to please uh, talk to myself or Samantha and Yomi for interviews with our filmmakers and our programmers. And um, we have a beautiful brunch prepared by Lasso's Kitchen and coffee by Patera Coffee. So we look forward to joining you in the lobby. Thank you so much again for joining us. We appreciate it. Have a good day.